What's going on everybody? Guns and Gains back here again with another video. Uh, this one is kind of impromptu. Um, this is a video response to Coda Boy 32 on his best pistol uh, giveaway video. Um, yeah, I, uh, this is kind of twofold. Um, I got a new camera today, so I'm filming my video with that. Uh, see how that works. And also enter his giveaway to see if I could possibly win. So, uh, best pistol, it's kind of a loaded question in my opinion. Um, there's so many options. I have four of mine out right now. I have my MMP shield, my primary carry gun. I carry this every day. I have my Glock 26. Love this gun as well. You can shoot that gun really well. I have a Burst of Thunder 380. Nice little gun for the money. And I have eight, an HK P2000 SK. This one is in 40 Smith & Wesson. So what's what makes the best pistol? First, first on anybody's list for the best pistol, I believe, should be reliability. Your gun should go bang every single time you pull the trigger, no matter what. So I mean, any gun that you buy nowadays is generally going to be reliable. Um, so I don't know which gun is the most reliable out of any of them. Um, you know, I guess it depends on the conditions. It depends on the gun. If you keep it, um, if you keep your guns well maintained. Next thing, next on my list would be capacity. Uh, capacity is an important thing. I don't have any full size pistols really to speak of, but you know. Uh, getting into full size you're getting 17 maybe even 18 rounds in 9 millimeter uh, which is really really good um, but in like a combat I guess combat situation you're probably gonna want more rounds you're gonna want a full size pistol like a Glock 17 or a full size MP um, you know so uh, capacity is also an important factor in the perfect pistol accuracy Accuracy would be next. Uh, I'm not the best pistol shooter in the world, uh, so I mean, accuracy is kind of depends more on the shooter. I think with when it comes to handguns, I don't think any handgun itself is inherently inaccurate. I think it depends more on the shooter, because handguns are a lot more difficult to shoot than rifles are. Next would be ergonomics, right? How the gun fits in your hand, how the gun feels when you shoot it, can you hit what you're shooting at? You know, um, I guess along with ergonomics, I guess sights, as you can see, I love the sight, the three dot sights on this HK. Um, the shield also has three dot sights, very nice. And typical Glock sights, I don't, which I don't actually hate. Yes, they're polymer, are they more likely to break than metal sights? Yes, of course. But I don't actually hate stock Glock sights. And this Burst of Thunder also has three dot sights, which are pretty low profile. I let, personally myself, I like the magazine release on the shield better than any gun on the table. I just like how the magazine drops right out. I don't really have to change my grip, my shooting grip, just drops right free and going along with ergonomics you know uh, slide release you know where the slide release is at I was saying I'm not gonna slam the slide home on an empty chamber but um, is it easy to get to is it easy to activate uh, I don't really have any, any issue with that on any of these guns I guess going along with ergonomics still is uh, hammer fired versus striker fired uh, this burst of thunder is double action and single action so once it is cocked pull the trigger it is single action after that you're gonna have to you got a double action pull uh, this HK is does have a hammer as you can see back here but is double action only so there's no external safety it's just the double action pull by itself and obviously the Glock is striker fired. It's got the little uh, piece on the trigger. That's your safety, right? Close it, right? If that's not depressed, you're not gonna be able to pull the trigger. The shields, but like the Glock, they have the trigger safety as well. 
So if you only pull on the top part of the trigger here, it's not going to go. You got to pull all the way on the trigger for it to actually go off. My uh, caliber would be another thing for the perfect pistol. So you're going to go for, you know, 45. Or you're going to go for 40 Smith & Wesson. You know, 40 people hate on 40. People love 40. I, I don't know. I, I prefer 9mm just because the price of the ammo, the availability of the ammo, the wide variety of choices for the ammo. Um, so, plus you get better capacity, generally speaking. Another thing I want to cover is the ease of disassembly. Most people don't want a gun that's going to take seven or eight steps to take apart. I mean, I know I don't. Uh, it's just easier, you know, when you get back from the range, you know, take your gun apart real quick, wipe down the parts, put it back together, you're good to go. Um, that That's really, it's not really an important part of a perfect pistol, but I mean perfect pistol needs to be, to me, needs to be easy to take care of, easy to take apart, easy to maintain. So you might ask, what would my perfect gun look like? So first off, it would be dead nuts reliable. Any weather condition, any temperature, whatever, it would always go bang whenever I pulled the trigger, no matter what. Um, that's the first and most important thing. Second thing would be size and ergonomics. Um, I'm really a fan of the size of the Glock 19. It's pretty much the perfect size for the gun. Um, so it would be that size. It's the greatest compromise between size and capacity. Um, so going into that, um, next I would probably take the ergonomics off of the um, M&P series. I like the magazine release. I like all, where all the controls are. Um, on the M&P is better than the Glocks, um, although I like the Glock 19's size and frame better. Um, and I'd probably stick with, uh, for the trigger, I'd probably go striker-fired. I do like the hammer-fired um, options, but I would stick with striker-fired. I like how I like the Glock's trigger over the M&P trigger, so I'd probably have a Glock trigger in there, or some kind of upgraded Glock trigger. And I would definitely have Talon grips on that gun. Let's see, what else would I want on my perfect gun? Uh, great capacity. Um, I would like at least 17 or 18 rounds in the magazine. What else would I want? Oh, sights. I would definitely have three dot sights of some variety on that pistol. Maybe even a red dot sight. I have never shot a, a handgun with a red dot sight. I think it looks really cool. Um, really expensive, but it's my perfect pistol, so I could probably do that if I wanted to. Um, Caliber will be 9mm, uh, just because, well, I guess in an ideal world, I would have some kind of large caliber uh, and be able to hold as many rounds as I wanted. But realistically speaking, 9mm, get the best capacity. There you have it. That's my opinion on the perfect pistol. I will say I'm not an expert. Um, I just like my guns. I want to keep my guns. Um, Second Amendment supporter. Um, I'm in... I'm an enthusiast, uh, just giving my opinion on what my perfect gun would look like. Um, so hopefully this was a good video response to Coda Boy 32 So as always, thank you for watching Guns and Gains. If you like this video, please subscribe to the channel. Um, we have lots of videos already posted and lots of videos that I'm working on in the, for the future. Uh, so as always, thank you for watching. I will see you next time.